it is a ridiculously busy day today. Uh, middle of spring break, beautiful weather, parking lot under construction. Um, yeah, it's a mess. So. see how long we have to wait before we get on the bus. I've never parked out here, but you can see it's dirt lots. Okay, just kind of get a view of the backed up traffic. This is unfortunately going to be probably norm for a lot of days, but it is spring break. If anybody's watching, they're probably going, okay, so why are you in the wrong lane to go to Silver Dollar City? Because <laughs> I know what trick. That's the new fire in the home. It's a big ominous square. <laughs> so, give you a look at all the construction that's going on. Yeah, that's where they're going to put all their summer employees and international workers. It's a mess. There's construction everywhere. Not able to get the dirt piles over there, right? Yeah, but that's okay. It's a lot of Interesting. Things. We're setting up for toll booths. Huh. I hope that doesn't mean we're going to paid parking at some point. I hope not. Oh, there, yeah, there's prices on those. Well, that's the that's the premium parking we just paid. I hope it's just them tallying how many people come into the park. Okay, we're parking way up in the boonies. So, uh, let's see how long it takes us to get into the park. Alright. So we're really in the boonies. I, I don't think I've ever parked way out here. Um, <laughs> yep, dirt. Most of this is temporary stuff, but expect to see it used a lot this year. Especially on busy days. And this is a very busy day. This is a day I usually don't go. Smell the slurry. So this hasn't changed much as of yet. Oh wait, we go this way. So this is different. We have our own entrance. Well, after a little bit of confusion um, and apparently a glitch in the system where I had bring a friend passes that then I didn't have. Weird, I don't know. <laughs> but ended up going through, uh, getting a pass for my daughter. And so we're finally in. 
uh, the long lines, busy day. It has been a process. But now we're finally getting ready to go and get in and let's start seeing everything that's new and changed and what else different. So here's something that's new. We got food trucks. Let's see, Fat Tony's Pizza, Pizza Kitchen, Flat Creek. Tasty. The London Calling. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, we do like London Calling. So um, I guess we're going to go see the food trucks. What's a snow nut? So here's something new as you come in that they're doing, they're making it a little easier for you to find the Pathfinder. Um, and then of course you got these crazy people here. So grab a Pathfinder. How are you doing, Mr. Roach? Great. Great. <laughs> yeah, look at all the people. So we're going to go down and see how bad the line is for barbecue. Ah, it's going to be bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's very, very bad. Love the smell of slurry in the morning. So you get a first look at the new woodworker shop and the flossies and stuff. Still construction walls. It's going to be a while yet, but they are definitely making progress. I'm try to swing around here a little bit. But you can definitely see. Actually, it looks like one building may be open air. But lots of work to do to rebuild it from the fire. Gee, you want more people? This is crazy. I'm not sure why there's quite so many people down here. So we're gonna see what the line's like for barbecue. Um, we may actually try going over to the food trucks. Because this is, this is nuts. Yep. Well, the food trucks at least are over in a completely different area, so we'll try that. So, uh, there's the line for the barbecue. All the way down the length of the building. Meanwhile, there's some seats on Mr. River Falls, but... Chris Stanley's back with his show. Yeah. <laughs> what, you don't want to see the Cajun Connection? No. But what's wrong with the Cajun Connection? <laughs> I mean, that group that I would hear up at the train station before park opening, rehearsing. Folks, you're a great crowd. The song is happy. I love swing jazz. Yeah. Dockside Girl. <laughs> Oh, right now it might kill me. Unfortunately. But you promised. You promised. Yeah, that was before my heart went to be stupid. Well, tell your heart to stop being stupid. Tell your heart to get an education. Don't tell me about it. Keep trying to educate it, and he goes, yeah. They so got a sandwich shop in there now, apparently. Interesting. And you can see the big brown, sort of see the big brown building over there. Ice cream on waffle. That's the way they did it before they made waffle cones. Yep. Ooh, and garlic and shrimp mac and cheese. That sounds great. Open April 6th. I would love to try that mac and cheese. Well, this is nice. So this is the walkway that has only been open during the Pumpkins in the City event. And now... I thought it was Pumpkin Nights. Whatever it is. No, actually it's Pumpkin City now. They had changed the name because of copyrights. And they've actually got a door open in the back of Fire in the Hole 2 or whatever they're going to call it. Feels so good out here. Yep, it's a beautiful day, which is why it's so stinking busy. Yes. They've actually widened this walkway. That's good. Because I was just looking at this. I think this wider section is Yeah, this section's new. Good thing they went around that tree. So I wonder if that means they're going to be using Pumpkin Plaza more often this year. Alas, no train today. We'll see if we can't check on them a little bit later. But... Lots of work going on with fire in the hole. 
I almost wonder if the entrance is going to be over here. Hey, look. You can play bing bags. Sorry, cornhole. Let's get the name right. <laughs> so a little look at the food court area here. Swirly's ice cream. Pizza is over there. London Calling. London Calling is there. I think Amber said it's calling to her. And then, nice seating area. You got donuts, Flat Creek, and I'm in line for tacos, because hey, tacos. So there's a little better look at what will be the replacement for fire in the hole. They're, yeah, they're definitely doing some work inside. Can't really see what. But you see there is stuff in the building and a facade going up. I still wonder if they're going to end up doing the entrance this way or what. So here's a look at the other side of what will be the new fire in the hall. You can see the facades coming into place. Uh, the big hole that we saw is right there. Fireman's Landing, of course, itself is right here. And just some gardens there. And that will, that will be where it will go. Now, I don't know if the entrance is going to be here or not. I don't know how many crossings they want on the train, but that's where it'll be. Yeah. This is interesting. This is also a fireman's landing. And uh, yeah, nice empty concrete slab. Nice of a ride. Mystic River Falls right there. Well, if you need any proof that it is a super busy day, this is the line for the flooded mine. <laughs> flooded mine, which usually does not have a line. So you can see, no train, but the train guys are working hard. Yeah, they do have a sign, closed for maintenance. Oh, you see the Davenport? It's in there nice and forlorn. You can actually tell the train has not been running at all with the rust on the tracks. Ah, we need to get some trains going to get those tracks polished back up. But no ETA as of yet. So, soon. So this is the White River Mercantile and it is currently empty. We'll see if they fill in a store here. So this is the cup this year the fire in the hole retiring party and you can see they're looking for red flanders pants it's actually a scavenger hunt game they've got going on this year and the whole mug these are $14 uh, and will give you basically $2 refills all year long they do have a VIP mug which is uh, a lot more expensive than these uh, but if you have a gold pass well hey you get your very first refill free so uh, but nice mugs. We get one, at least one every year. So that one's mine. We'll probably pick up another one later on as well. So there's a little look at Silver Dollar City. Lots of construction. You can expect the parking lot construction to be going on all year. The uh, wood shop and all that will hopefully open later on this year as they get that finished up. Uh, the new fire in the hole will be next year. So this is your last year to uh, see the old fire in the hole. So be sure to get your rides in while you can. Uh, new dormitories and Lots going on, lots to look forward to. This is almost kind of like a middle year pause while everything's getting built and, and then we'll go on from there. But thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great time. Thank you to my patrons for helping make trips like this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that, please check the description below. Lots of perks to come with it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.